In the section we are going to talk about the HSRP practicing on the packet tracer. We have three steps to accomplish. In the first step we need to make the HSRP configuration for router 1 and 2 according to these IP addresses. Okay. Second we need to assign a suitable gateway IP address to your to our PC. All right. And third, we need to make sure that the packets from the PC go by the following red arrow on this direction, I think. Okay, so what I'm going to do, let's make a summary in here. I'm going to attach the tender to the interfaces the internal interfaces of the routers and tender three for this router one and tender three will be on router two okay and i need to assign a suitable gateway ip address that's gonna be our hsrp ip so the gateway will be tender one for the pc okay and third we need to make sure that the packets from the PC go by following the red arrow. So when I'm making the HSRP config on the router 1, I need to use a high priority value. And we need to make sure that if this guy is being the active for the HSRP. Okay, let's go. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to assign the IP addresses or I'm going to check if they are already pre-configured or not. So, okay. I'm on router 1, show IP interface brief and I can see that no IP address is configured. All right. IP of, I'm sorry, interface fast Ethernet 0, 0 and this guy will have an IP address of 10.2. Okay. And let's go to the other two and assign this other IP address. Tender three and no shot. All right, I assign the IP addresses and let's assign the default gateway to the PC. My PC's IP address is I need to recheck it. Ten dot ten dot one hundred. Okay. And that one will be the gateway as we talked. Okay. So I assigned the IP addresses to the fast Ethernet 0, 0 interfaces at 2, 3, and 100. Okay. I assigned the suitable gateway IP address to my PC as well. All right. Then what I need to do is to configure the HSRP on routers and make sure that router one is the active router. Okay. I'm going to do router one. So I need to show you how we configure it. Interface fast Ethernet zero zero and I'm gonna assign I'm gonna assign the standby IP. As 10.1. What is going wrong? 
Okay, there is no subnet mask, all right. Then standby one will have a priority value which is bigger than the default value of 100. So I can use 200 to make sure that rather one is the default, but <laughs> I'm not on the rather one. Okay, then I'm removing this configuration. No standby. I'm a rather two, as you can see. Okay. No standby one IP and no standby one priority. Okay. Show run and check fast return at zero zero. Okay. We are now going to rather one. I'm sorry for the delay. We are in the interface mode already and what I need to do is configuring the standby one IP first. Then standby one priority will be bigger than 100 and that's gonna be arbitrary. I choose the 200. Okay, then let's I'm sorry, then we need to configure the preemption as well. It's arbitrary too, but if you are remembering from our slides, I am offering you to configure the preemption always for the active router. Okay, let's go with the router two. Interface. Fast Ethernet 00 will have an standby one IP with 10.1. So I don't want to configure the preemption and I am not going to configure the prior to volley for rather two because the default volley is 100 and as I configured rather one with the priority volley of the 200 I'm expecting to see that rather one is the active and rather two is the standby okay so let's check it show standby okay as I see from the show standby output the state of the router one is active for the HSRP and my virtual IP address is 10.1 which is okay. So let's take a look to show standby on router two. State is standby and we are sharing the 10.1 IP address with the router one. Okay guys, that's what I'm really want to see and I accomplished the three steps to and HSRP configuration has finished.